Hey friends, welcome back to Ball Homestead. My name is Beverly and I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to make some peanut butter balls and make them like what you would give for a gift. We're going to do the 12 days of homemade Christmas challenge. My first one is the truffles. I didn't uh, see the challenge until after I'd already made the video, but we're going to count that as day one. So we're going to go into day two and we're going to make some peanut butter balls. So stay tuned. All right, for these peanut butter balls, we need a cup of peanut butter, two cups of icing sugar, and two teaspoons of butter. Let me go grab some peanut butter out of the pantry. I saw this challenge yesterday on From the Roots Up. And I thought, you know what? This would be a fun challenge to do homemade stuff. So that's what we're going to do for the next 11 episodes. Like I said, I already did the one with the homemade Oreo truffles. And we will do um, one every day for the first 12 days of December. So I think that'll be kind of fun. So we're going to do about a cup of peanut butter. Two cup or two teaspoons of butter. I bought some butter yesterday, so we're gonna cut off two teaspoons here. And we need two cups of icing sugar. which is powdered sugar. Let me see if I have any opened. Of course I do. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put about two cups in here, and we're going to start mixing that all together. And then if we need more, we'll add more. I love making homemade goodies to give out to my friends and family for Christmas. I think it's more personable, and I think that it shows that you put your time and effort into making someone a wonderful gift. So that, that and in this economy, friends, we can all save however we can. So I, don't, I love homemade gifts. I think they're, you know, more special. Actually, add just a little bit more peanut butter here. I think I got a little too much powdered sugar. So we're going to add that in. Maybe just a dollop of milk. Sometimes you have to do that. It'll be okay. We'll just use just a little tiny bit. With powdered sugar, it does not take much for it to come together. See, that's just like two tablespoons of milk, which we got to scrape the sides down. But let me do that real quick. Scrape these sides down. We might add another tablespoon of milk to it, and this should come good together. We love peanut butter balls. Um, candies is probably one of my favorite things to make through the holidays. I enjoy doing it. I love cooking, period. Uh, people ask me all the time because I cook all day. Do you like cooking when you get home? And I do. I truly enjoy making good food for my family and friends. Well, fiddlesticks. Okay, let me feel this. Let that mix, and I think we're there, friends. And that's it. That's how simple the filling is for peanut butter balls. I'm going to go ahead and get my chocolate melting in the microwave because we're going to dip these in regular chocolate. A couple tablespoons of coconut oil in it just to thin it out some. We've got our chocolate here in the bowl and we're going to put just a couple of tablespoons of coconut oil. And always remember, I know I say this all the time, do your chocolate slow. Don't try to do it fast because it will ruin it. If you burn your chocolate, 
it's ruined. So I'll do 30 second intervals in the microwave and just take your time. It won't take very long to do it. Balls and put them on our parchment paper and have them ready for dipping. I just roll them up about the same size as the truffle balls because once you coat them in chocolate, they're going to be bigger than what they are, what you think they are going to be. And this doesn't take long. It's a simple little process. And then you have some yummy peanut butter balls. You can go to the Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. That's where I get my boxes when they're on sale, like 50% off. And get some of the cutest Christmas boxes, friends. And they're like $4.99 for, there's, I think, five or six boxes per pack. And that is a good deal. Or you can go to Dollar Tree. They have some also, two for a dollar and a quarter. They're a little bit bigger boxes than these. So if you wanted to make a bigger gift box than what these are, you could do that also. The skies are the limit. I'm sure Walmart even has some kind of little cookie box or candy box or something. So there is all kinds of options for packaging up your treats. You could also, you know, bake cookies. I do that a lot at work. There's so many things people enjoy um, candy and sweets. That's one thing. <laughs> Everybody likes sweet treats. Most people, anyways. We're just going to get all of these balls made. Let me get this going again. And then we're going to make or dip our peanut butter balls in some. Uh, regular chocolate and decorate those up. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 32, 33 balls here. So I need about 30 more seconds at least. And then we'll start dipping these chocolate is done now we're just going to stir it around and mix that coconut oil in there there's one big chunk but i feel like the bowl's warm enough that it will kind of melt that down and what we're going to do is just take one ball at a time and put them in our yummy chocolate mixture i have some white chocolate uh, just a tiny bit melting over here so we can drizzle on the top of these i think that'll be cute you can half this recipe or however you want to do it if you don't want to make this many but um, when I do anything, I always do it a lot of them, or I try to. I mean, I've, I'll probably do this recipe many more times throughout the season. We're just going to get all these dipped. See how quick that's drying? That's awesome. So we can get those drizzled and complete. All right, let's see if I can stir this around. Thirty more seconds and I think it'll be perfect. I've been slowly working on the tree. I am going to have to go and pick up a few more rolls of the snow, but I am starting on it. I'm hoping by the weekend to have it complete. Tomorrow when I'm in town, I'll pick up some of the other snow we need for it, or the sheets of cotton, 
and um, go from there. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, we're just going to dip these three real quick in this. I have three white ones. Okay, now we're going to take this and just drizzle it over our candies. All right, and now we'll take this little dab and drizzle it over our white ones. There's just a tiny bit left. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Right, our peanut butter balls are starting to dry well, so we're going to get going getting them boxed up. These are so cute in their boxes. And I try to do around 9 to, you know, 10 per box because, um, you know, these aren't as big as the, the cocoa bombs, but they are just as delicious. So we're going to do about 9 to 10 per box, and that's a nice gift. I'm going to put one of the white ones in each one. All right. Look how cute. And that is a perfect gift, friends. You could use tissue paper instead of these little liners. This is just what I use, I've been doing this for a lot of years, and this is what works best for me. But you could do whatever you wanted. And you can get these on sale at Hobby Lobby, too, on their 50% off things. There's box number two. Look how cute. Yeah, we're going to have enough for three. Let me grab a couple more papers here. All right, we got three nice gifts out of this, friends. I'm going to get those situated where they're not popping up because they'll pop my lid up. Look at that. All right, one more thing. We need to taste test these. Mmm, just like eating a Reese's peanut butter cup. Mm -mm -mm. Super creamy, absolutely delicious. Here is our three beautiful boxes of peanut butter balls ready for gifting. All right, friends, thank you for stopping back by our homestead. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another gift idea. Goodbye, friends.